Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird. Welcome back for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. I am walking around in the rain in my PJs. Uh, today, uh, I think we're gonna hit... I got three new items, which are these. Oh, from Reds, we got a nice thing. Brofina, hopefully she's leaving. And the Happy Home Academy. Okay, so today I'm thinking about maybe a trip to the island. What do you guys think? Um, let me throw away a few letters here and then we can read those new ones. But yeah, I'm thinking that it's about time for another trip to the island. We haven't done one in a little while. So uh, that would be pretty cool. I need a new outfit for today. So I might head in and change before we head to the island. This doesn't scream tropical getaway fun to me. But uh, so we got this from Red, which I believe is the real painting. It's my worthy painting. So I got to put that in the museum. And then what else we got here? Brofina. What happened? Oh, I think I visited her. My dearest Adam, I had a lovely time hanging out with you at my place the other day. So here, for the friend who will rave over my home along with me, I have this special something. Yours truly, Brofina. Alright. And then what did I get from the Happy Home Academy? Oh, I passed 20,000 points. Sweet. Okay. It's probably because I have a second floor now. And I threw some stuff in there. So what did they... What did I get for that? A pennant. Sweet. And then Brofina got me... A blue vase. Not bad. And then that's my worthy painting. Okay, so I'm going to go in and get my outfit changed, and then we'll head to town real quick before we go to the island. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, give me all your money. I may uh, <laughs> sound like red there. I'm a little bandit today, even though I've got Woody from Toy Story's shirt on. I got my cowpoke pants, steel toe boots, cowbone hat, little superhero bandit mask thing. I made the terrifying decision of putting in my sleeping clothes on this mannequin and giving it the facial mask and now it's going to haunt my dreams. But I thought I'd show you guys real quick before I leave to go to the shops and everything I want to show you guys my second story since I don't think you've seen it designed yet. Here it is, my cozy little bedded area with my lullaboy. I've got my beetle up here on my dresser, a little wood burning stove going to crackle in the night. And then I've got my cello, and I put my happy home pennant up on the wall. So there we go. And my little totems. Lots of cool stuff in there. But I really need to expand that. First, though, I'm going to work on getting the museum bigger. And to do that, we're going to need to go to the island to earn lots of bells from bringing back bugs and fish. Now, uh, I forgot my umbrella again. We're not going to be here too long. Uh, I'm just going to kind of glance at my flowers as we go. Some of my perfect pears grew. Oh, God. What? Who put this pitfall right next to this other hole? Luring the mare into a trap. I feel like somebody is trying to kill the mare. And I don't know who. But it smells. It smells like Isabelle's last... Never mind. Um, so anyways, I'm going to uh, head over to retail here. And uh, see what's up. Anything on the... Yep, something's on the board. Another limited time sale. Man, they keep having sales. Okay. But I want to go over to retail. I'm going to put the blue vase that I got up for sale real quick. Because I don't really need... Ooh, giant clam shells. I'm going to throw that blue vase up. And uh, hold this place up for a robbery. I'm going to stick them up. And uh, just take all their bells. Because, you know... Whoa. Oh, that's... <laughs> I put a balloon clock up. I was like, what the heck is that? And I put... Oh, this is all filled with my stuff. I guess I can't put my vase up. But I did have... Oh, that's what I want to do. I got a, uh, I got something I want to do real quick. It's very special, guys. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. I've been holding on to this in my, in my letters for a long time. So let's pull it out here and just do it. Bam! Get ready for this, guys. Wow, that was magical. Anyways, <laughs> I want to go down and check real quick just to see if anyone's at the campsite. My apples grew. Sweet. Nobody at the campsite. Dang. I haven't had anybody since that horse lady. It's been a few days. I'm hoping for a new person because I'm going to basically use the campsite to shop out my last villager. And uh, probably not my last, actually, because I bet I'll get I'll get some of these people to leave. Eventually, if we keep pestering Brofina, she'll leave someday. Let's go check out the shops. I'll try to make this quick so that we can spend most of our time in the island. But we're going to head into TNT Mart. I wonder if those birds ever leave. Because I will catch one one day if it's possible, but I don't know if it is. Another slingshot. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to kind of glance at the items as I buy my fortune cookies. Looks like there's some type of writing desk and a striped lamp. And I've already got that pear dresser, so I'm not going to worry about that. But not, not too much exciting today. I don't really need a writing desk or anything. I think 
So the Happy Home Academy actually judges on a lot of criteria, and one of the things is like essentials. So if you have certain items like a bed, a lamp, a desk, like all of the essential items in there, you get a bunch of point bonus. Let's see what this first fortune cookie is. Today is not your day. Tomorrow doesn't look any better. Hmm, I wonder if that's an actual f Nintendo for- I, yeah, I have yet to get a random fortune that's not a Nintendo item, but that might be one. A bulb in your future is looking dim. Bring a flashlight. That sounds like something with Luigi's Mansion. Both of those are new, though. So let's check it out. I don't think I've gotten either of these, at least, but they might be random pieces of furniture. There's, like, certain numbers that aren't really Nintendo items. They just give you, like, a random thing, I think. Let's see. Oh, it's not a winner. I got a fancy carpet, which I already have one of. Anyways, thank you. And let's check out the second one. I feel like both of them aren't going to be winners today. It's weird that the majority of them are winners. Like, if it's a fortune, like a raffle type thing. It seems like it's like a raffle, but I get, you know, items for everything. Let's see. Oh, I got a bird bath. Ooh, that's sweet. Okay. Sounds good to me. And then, uh... I'm just gonna rob him, and uh, then we'll be out of here. Just wanna check these as well. Mosaic, not too interested in that. I'll try to go through all these as quick as I can so we can go have fun in the sun. A regal carpet, that might be nice. Uh, that doesn't even look like a, I guess it's a carpet, but it's like tiled on the sides. Strange, okay, not too bad. All right, see you later, Tim Tom, Tommy. I think, uh, I was wondering, like, I thought they used to trade off days, but now someone mentioned, I think, that there's, like, one in the morning, one at night, or something? Anyways, let's go check out the Ables. I need to start buying more clothes, or else I'm never gonna get that mannequin from Mabel here. I gotta buy a certain amount of clothing. Pinky's here. Sweet. What is Pinky up to? That looks like a Star Trek shirt. It's probably, uh, ooh, it's a soccer shirt. I almost did a soccer outfit, so I'm gonna take that, because that'll be perfect. That's what I, I kinda needed a shirt for that. These are probably zap pants, correct? Yep. Danielle's been messing with the zap, the zap look. She has, she has a squirrel in her village named Agent S, which is pretty cool. She's like a daredevil secret agent squirrel thing. I'll have to, I gotta go over to Danielle's village and visit her place pretty soon. A crossing shirt. What does that even mean? A cross-dressing shirt. <laughs> There's like a space twinkle tank. Ah, oh, that seems like something that uh, that Pinky would wear. How's it going, Pinky? Ooh, Shmoopy. Shmo <laughs> That's her nickname for me, Shmoopy. I was just out for a walk too, lump off. What do you want to talk about? Lump off. I don't want to talk about lumping off. I want to talk to you. You never know if something's going to be look good unless you try it on first. All right. She looks like she's making Link's clothes or something. Maybe not. The weather goes from being warm to hot, so people start switching the wardrobes pretty hurriedly. That just means I've got to keep at my machine to produce enough to keep up with the demand. Yeah, we're I think we're about out of the rainy season pretty soon, so we can uh, we can finally get some nice sunshine. Maybe I'll get a tan. I'm not sure if you have to not have a hat on to be able to get a tan. What is this? A grandpa hat? <laughs> Let me check that out. That's pretty cool. I like that. That looks like it would be good for a mare. I like my straw boater a lot too, though. I'm gonna be like the idea is just to change outfits a lot. Even the, my my samurai helmet is like my favorite, but uh, I'm gonna try to keep changing around. That batter helmet I'm probably gonna wear with my soccer clothes maybe tomorrow. I'm just already already planning out my outfit for the next day, but I'm just gonna try to make use of the tons and tons of accessories and crap that I'm buying. So last stop here is kicks, and then we'll head over to the island. Uh, I gotta drop off that painting at Blathers, but I can do that off camera. Ooh, what do we got going on here? What are these? Lace-up boots. Hmm. They looks like some superhero boots on the side. Are these steel toe as well? No, black rain boots. Not bad. That looks like it'd be good for, like, a detective. I could use the grandpa hat for, like, a detective outfit. Zap boots. I bet they'll make a sound if I try them on. Oops, I didn't mean to buy them. Oh, well, I was going to probably get them anyways. And we got some, what looks like, oh, bobby socks. All right. And then some type of stocking. Okay. I'm going to head over to Blathers and uh, donate stuff. As I'm also going to buy up a lot of things. Is this a, I can't tell if these are girl boots or not. <laughs> Let's try them on. Eh. They're okay. I think I'll grab the, uh, the other one. So. so, yeah, I'll see you guys at the island. 
Look who's hiding behind this tree. It's you, Miss Sahara. Hello, thank you, yes. Yep, let's uh, let's do some new wallpaper carpet. And, and while we head over there, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. Uh, first thing, uh, I forgot to go to retail before noon. I was playing before noon, but I didn't go there fast enough to check turnip prices, and the afternoon price was only 60 bells. So I'm running out of days to sell my turnips. I hope I can make it to sell them for a lot before Sunday. The other thing I wanted to mention before uh, Sahara goes in here, She's gonna come in with me, right? Okay. Uh, is that in the Japanese? It's uh, it's a little odd because Sahara and Gracie, who are female characters in the American version, are male characters, <laughs> and they just have like a feminine quality to them. But first, I think when they localized it, they just they didn't uh, they weren't sure how to handle that, so and they didn't want to you know offend people or whatever. But it's just a little weird that they did that and decided to like flip the genders on them. So, anyways. Uh, Let's let's see how Sahara does this. But in the in the American version and or Western releases, I think they're just supposed to be females. Uh, Grace, Gracie's a little more feminine than Sahara is. Let's see. It is done done like the past. Past is tomorrow is here. The feature needs not this, so you must take it. Just give me back my carpet and my wallpaper, and let's let's check out what she did, man. All right, she's gonna go see the Nook Man. All right. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be we'll go to the island after this. But yeah, I want, I thought I would mention the whole thing with uh, Gracie and Sahara. Whoa. The wall is like a is that like a cabana thing? I need to switch these out so that I can see what the other ones are called. I don't know if I like that carpet. That's an exquisite rug and a garden wall. I think I kind of like this wall though. This is kind of cool. I might switch it out later, but this is a pretty nice wall. I'll leave that as it is. All right, guys, let's head to the island. What's that? Yep. So we're oops. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I should cut out the the ride to the island because I love Captain Songs. It's like one of my favorite parts in the game. But uh, I don't know if you guys want to hear it every time. I usually cut out the song like on the way back. I, I've been saving all of them just in case I want to compile them. I think they've been different every single time too. I haven't really doubled up on any songs, which is pretty amazing. But anyways, we're on our way. I'll play the song this time, but let me know in the comments whether you want to see Captain Song or you think I should just skip it if I go to the island. Because it is a bit of a process. But I like hearing him sing. And there he goes. I'll shut me mouth. <laughs> I think you get hotter. Oh, iced tea. <laughs> what a weirdo. Just wasting good tea. My daughter keeps bragging me seaweed sculpture. I don't get it. These kids. inspirational little last line. I thought about trying to uh, do Captain's voice and like sing along with the songs, but I figured it would be really hard to sync up and you guys might not want to hear that, so that's another thing. Let me know <laughs> if, you, if you want me to try that in an episode. <laughs> I'll do that. Um, even though it'll probably be horrible. Let's jump in. I haven't been to the island since I came here with Danielle a few days ago, so let's, uh, let's head on in and hopefully something cool is in the shop. A little sailor's hat. What is this? A red hibiscus start. Oh, sweet. I want that. I want that. That way I can make a bush. And uh, let's grab two of them. Um, but yeah, I can get bushes and then I can get snails and stuff, I think. New souvenir in my box. Two should be fine. I don't know if I need more than that because they would both be red. It's an application form for Club Tortimer. To become a member, you can go on tours with people from all over the globe. <gasps> oh, man. Okay, I gotta get 50 medals, because then I can play with people all over the world. Sweet. I heard about that, but I didn't know it was that paper. Like, I would have gotten that sooner if I realized. Okay, we're gonna go... Let's go out. I don't I do not do this very often with you guys. I kind of go on my own to do this, but we can do a little bit of bug catching and uh, fish hunting. 
all the fruit grew back. Let's just grab it. Let's grab our stuff here. I would like to borrow. But yeah, usually I my best way to earn money I come like uh, late at night here and I I uh, just kind of wander around and look for beetles for the most part. I kind I don't like ignore the ocean, but it seems like the fish are a lot less common, so I don't bother with them too much. I look so weird with just the wetsuit with the way the rest of my clothes are. Um, but yeah, it's uh. The beetles aren't going to be around as much because there is, uh, there's no, it's not nighttime is what I mean, sorry. There's going to be some pretty good butterflies though it looks like. Oop, that was a mantis, I scared it away. But yeah, the, the strategy, I wonder if this is the, this is the bush that I got I think. The hibiscus right there. The strategy I've heard is to chop down almost all of the trees except for like a couple and then they those ones have to get the bugs but I find that I, that feels a little boring like I'd rather kind of go around the island and look at each of the, the trees whenever that was I just scared it away. Um, but yeah I think it's more fun to kind of walk around. The island's not that big anyways so but yeah I'm sure it's faster to go through and chop them down like everyone's saying but I don't know. I'd rather play this way. <laughs> just take take my time and enjoy it. Since this is kind of one of the things I do off camera, and I just take my time and do it on me own. Just some fish. Okay, well let's head in and do a tour. The tours seem to be more exciting when I'm, you know, with somebody else, but I do need to earn a lot of medals today so I can get that Club Tortimer application. So what is this? A sailor's hat. I could buy that, but then I would need a ton more medals for the Club Tortimer application. I'm not sure if that is always there or not, because I, I don't ever usually look at the uh, the paper there, because I thought it was just like fancy paper. A beetle hunting tour. Ooh, the hammer tour. Okay, I haven't done that yet. Market price seafood tour. <laughs> I'm going to do the hammer. I haven't actually done the easy hammer tour yet, so maybe we should do the easy one, and then I'll try the level up one and see how that is. Oops. Dang it. I was saving that for when I had other people to come with me, because I was like, this is one that would be fun with multiple people. But I think, uh, I think I'm gonna try it on my own. Because I didn't realize that the tours switch out every day, and that's, like, the first day I went here, that one popped up. But then, uh... Oh. Oh no. I don't wanna... No, I gotta, I gotta put these items in my box, or they're gonna take my... They're gonna pay me for them, but they're gonna take them. So let's throw these little butterflies in there. Okay. Um, anyways, but yeah, I should have just done the hammer tour that first day, but luckily it popped up again, and I have the second one, so let's see. The hammer is actually like an item that you can get on the island. You can like buy it and bring it back with you, and you can bop your villagers with it. Hey there. <clears throat> What's this voice? Hey there, whippersnapper. Thanks for joining us on the easy island tour. The rules are simple. You have three minutes to smack the machine around as much as possible. If you can hit at least 30 times within the time limit, I'll give you some metals. <laughs> Use a toy hammer holding you. It's a great stress reliever. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Get ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Get set. <laughs> Go. Doesn't seem too tough. Especially if I can just run after it. This is probably frantic with multiple people. What if I get in front of it? Just have it push me. It's like a lawnmower. Just with a weird... It's like an acorn with Tortimer's face a little bit. Oh, I can't tell how many times I'm hitting it. That'd be nice if it could, like, tell me. If I just position myself in front of it, I can hit it multiple times faster. Without having to run after it. Oh, my eyes got all big when I did that. I wonder what the level up version is. Like, if it's way tougher. Yeah, I think that's my main strategy. Just get in front of it, and I can just keep hitting it while it pushes me. Pretty good strategy, it looks like. Oh, missed it there. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this is not too exciting on my own, because it's kind of just me hitting this thing while an old man watches me. Don't turn around. I bet there's more areas for it to turn or something. Oh, it's freaking out. I wonder if I'm breaking it. Or it's getting faster because the time is going down. Get back here, you little crazy. I bet I just have to hit it a certain amount of times and it like breaks. That would be pretty funny. I think I'm getting close to 30 if I haven't already hit it that many times. 
Bam, bam, bam. Come on. Break. I'm only hitting it with a toy hammer. But Tortimer didn't build this thing very well, it looks like. It's, it's getting a little harder for me to be pushed. There we go. Got right in front of it there when it turned. The let this crazy machine push me strategy is my my go-to. There we go. It's like lining yourself up to hit the bell rocks. Whoa! Get back here, partner. All right. I'm pretty sure I hit it three times by now. I don't know how long I have to go until this breaks. Oh, I broke it. Sweet. I can keep hitting it while it's broken. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. It's almost like it fell into a pitfall or something. Sweet. No mercy for this thing. Just beat the crap out of it. <laughs> Anyways, how have you guys been? I've been enjoying my time in Animal Crossing. There's some people that, uh, I've heard some reviews complain about the tours. Like, I know they're not super exciting. They're, they're, I think they're really built for multiple people, so if I could play online with randos, it would help a lot. And I wouldn't have to have somebody in my town to, to do it. But, uh, so I think the point of this game is, all, is like I was mentioning before, is just kind of like, take it easy, take your time, play a little each day, enjoy yourself doing the little tasks. And a lot of them are like their own reward. Like I said, one of my favorite parts in the game is listening to Captain sing, and that doesn't really, like, it's just kind of a thing that takes up time. I can skip it if I want, but I like listening to him sing because the songs are fun. It's just a funny little thing to do that's relaxing. Let's see. Hey, hey, Harf, that was a hoot. Let's take a gander at the results. 107 times. Jeez. Gold tournament and six points. Nice. Yeah, if I played with multiple people, I'm sure we would have gotten a lot more. So we're going to try the level up hammer tour, and then I'll go earn the rest on my own. But, uh, what was the point I was making was that <laughs> it's, I mean, you can, you can play this, this game by, like, time traveling forward and, you know, going ahead because there's a lot of people that want to experience everything but they don't you know honestly it's like how many of them are going to keep playing for months and months and months it's it's a lot easier for some people to just kind of try and time travel forward to other seasons and you know play as much as they want at a time but it is nice i think to just you know go with the flow play a little each day like i said and just play it consistently and and have fun because I'm not too worried about earning enough money to pay off my house or doing any of that too soon. I want to, you know, take my time and, and have that stuff come as it comes and not worry about, you know, trying to get the optimum, like, amount of bells and all that. Oh, there's rocks in this one. Okay. Well, that's at least different. It'll probably make the thing turn around more often, I'm just guessing. And it's a little harder because i got to follow it different ways. What if I, like, got behind, got it jammed into a rock or whatever? That was a good combo. Oh, come back here. It's going a little faster. Uh, did he say 30 times again? I didn't. I wasn't listening. I was just on my teary ad about Animal Crossing and relaxing. <laughs> so, most games, when I would play, like, it's, de it's a whole different experience to play when you're recording, you know? Like, if you've ever recorded or done a Let's Play thing, like, it's it's not quite as relaxing because you got to kind of be thinking about what you're going to say. you got to make sure you don't look like an idiot when you're playing the game and you know what you're doing somewhat. I mean, some Let's Plays, the fact that the person doesn't know what they're doing is the fun part. Like, I like to do some games blind because I think it's funnier to have, like, a natural reaction, you know, to everything. But Let's Plays in themselves, like, they can be relaxing, but sometimes just the having to worry about, like, recording everything and keeping track of all that stuff and like making sure you don't go over a certain time limit uh that can be a little stressful speaking of which we're getting close to like a half hour here um <laughs> i got a little stopwatch going but so far animal crossing hasn't been too bad to record in terms of like stress like it's uh it's one of those games that i really liked in relaxing and playing on my own and i was worried that like recording it was gonna ruin that magic a little bit but it hasn't really i play a bit with you guys and i talk during that and then there's a lot of the time i probably play at least two to three times longer each day on my own than i do with you guys because i do a lot of monotonous stuff like picking fruit chopping chopping down trees beating the crap out of little turtle robots um, well, I'm doing that on camera, but yeah, it's a, 
There's a lot of stuff that I do each day to make sure that I earn bells and stuff that's off camera. So it's like I get I get that time to relax and I don't have to worry about, you know, making sure you guys are entertained and all that stuff. I hope I'm doing an okay job so far. Uh, just thinking about hopefully uh, this is if there's any any suggestions you have for ways that you you think I could play and do things a little differently or better to make it more enjoyable for you guys, let me know. But hopefully I'm doing okay. Anyways, we're almost done with this. I managed to rant over this whole thing. This is a good, like, zone out and just smack the crap out of this thing while I talk about stuff. Um, yeah, I was, I'm, sometimes I'm worried I, don't, I won't have something to talk about if it's not related to the game. Because I don't do all that much in real life on my own. Because <laughs> I do this a lot and I'm, you know, I'm home a lot. So, But yeah, I managed to find something to talk about, so I'm happy. Alright, let's see how we did... And uh, let's head over here. I, was, I had some other right thing I was going to say, but now I can't remember. Hey, hey, horf. That was a oot. I made it a good. 103. Almost the same as before. And I got eight medals. Sweet. I might do that one again because it's fairly short and uh, off camera to earn the rest of my medals. Because it's fairly short and it does a lot of medals. And it's consistently easy to get that many medals. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for journeying here to Tortimer Island with me. I've had fun playing with you guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cowpokes for more... I almost said Minecraft. More Animal Crossing New Leaf. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>